These are the five best director's cuts of superhero movies. At number five, Batman vs. Superman The Ultimate Edition. Now, BVS was largely hated when it came out because of the dark tone. It had excessive dialogue and a plot that didn't make a lot of sense in the theatrical version. As it turns out, Warner Brothers and director Zack Snyder had a lot of disagreements about this movie during production, and a while after the Blu-ray released, we got to see Snyder's True Vision, the Ultimate Edition. It fixed many of the theatrical version's plot issues, and it added some much-needed context for the main conflict. It's worth a watch if you're one of the people who hated on BVS in the theater. At number four, Daredevil. The 2003 Daredevil movie is not very well remembered these days, but Ben Affleck did his best as the main character and it helped pave the way for future superhero films. Now the theatrical version of Daredevil was PG-13, but there was an R-rated director's cut released a year later that added an entire half hour of content that had to be cut from the film due to mature content. The director's cut also had a noticeably darker tone than the theatrical version, and that's the best way to view it. At number three, Watchmen. If you hate the Watchmen movie because it's too long, you're gonna hate the director's cut, but if you don't mind Zack Snyder movies being super long, you should definitely check out the three hour director's cut of Watchmen. This version of the movie includes an additional subplot that adds some extra drama to the grand finale, and many of the action scenes are longer and more intense. I always thought Watchmen was a little overhated, but the director's cut is pretty awesome. And number two, the Wolverine Unleashed Extended Edition. Who remembers that? It was a second solo Wolvie movie, and it hit theaters in 2013 with a PG-13 rating, but ever since this movie started production, director James Mangold has wanted it to be much more violent to better represent the character. The unrated Unleashed Extended Edition added 12 minutes to the movie and a ton of blood effects that were cut from the theatrical version. It made the action way more intense. At number one, Justice League The Snyder Cut. When it comes to director cuts that improve the original movie, there's no better example than the Snyder Cut. Zack Snyder's Justice League took an absolutely terrible theatrical release and expanded it to a four-hour epic that improves upon the original in every way. Yes, there's some fundamental problems with the movie's plot and the characters, but the Snyder Cut is genuinely solid and it's an entertaining movie, which is a massive accomplishment when you consider where it came from.